Hello, George Romanich here. We are continuing with exploring the beauties of Coriolis force. I believe that the problem that we need to solve today is now on your screens. So part A, find this Coriolis force exerted on the aircraft. Well, let's first schematize this. So here we have Montreal, and somewhere here is Belgrade. Both cities are at the same latitude of 45 degrees, and the aircraft is traveling from Montreal to Belgrade. Clearly, there will be Coriolis force. This is northern hemisphere, so deflection is to the right, like so. Now, if we were asked to calculate this distance, then uh, you can go to my previous video, because that's what we calculated, just it wasn't Montreal, Belgrade, it was two different cities, and so on. But in this problem, we are not interested in this displacement over here. We are interested in the force that acts on this aircraft, and you can see it is acting in the southward direction. So again, it is useful to define a coordinate system over here, positive x direction, or positive u, is towards the east, positive v is towards the north, the aircraft would be deflected like so, so deflection would be negative, so we better get Coriolis force that has negative component as our result. Now, because motion is zonal at the beginning, to find meridional deflection, we use this equation. So the equation says, dv dt is minus fu. But this is acceleration. We are interested in the force. So to get the force, we multiply this both sides by the mass. So m dv dt. And now this is Coriolis force in the y direction is equal negative mass of the aircraft times F times U. Well, that's it. We just need to plug in numbers. So force, Coriolis force in the Y direction is equal negative mass of the aircraft is 40,000 kilograms times F, that is 2 times omega, and omega is 7.27 times 10 to power negative 5, omega, so F is 2 times omega sine phi, omega is angular velocity of earth, times sine of 45 degrees, and times u. And u is given, that's 220 meters per second. Let's just discuss, like in previous video, the sign of u. This is intensity of, of uh, velocity, but the aircraft is moving from Montreal to Belgrade. That's along the positive u direction. So this is a positive number in terms of component. Namely, v as a vector would be ui. And because u is positive, it will just be 200 times i. In the previous video, we had motion from east to west. So this, in that case, would be negative number. At any rate, f Coriolis in the y direction is equal, when you calculate all these numbers, I believe you get negative 880 newtons which is approximately negative 900 newtons. And we got result that is negative, which makes sense. Force is acting towards the south. 
and south is opposite of north, and north is our positive direction. Or if we want in vector form, f Coriolis is negative 900j, because j is unit vector in the northern direction. So that's not that large force, but nevertheless it exists. In the next videos, we will calculate the bank angle of the aircraft that needs to be uh, set up in order for this aircraft to battle this Coriolis force. Until then, goodbye.